Welcome to The MacGuffin, episode 277. I'm Spencer. I'm Greg. Today, in honor of the release of Prisoners, we're yeah. going to be talking all about that film, mm -hmm. director, actors, getting yes. dip. Let's, let's, so, let's dig on yes. in. Uh, for those who are not familiar, yes. Prisoners is a thriller from director Denis Villeneuve. Mm -hmm. Villeneuve. Mm -hmm. Villeneuve. Yeah, yeah, sure. Villeneuve. I like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. It's French. It's French Fran Canadian. French. <laughs> French Canadian. There's no Canada like a French Canadian. Quebecois. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Probably not actually from Quebec. Maybe. It's, it's hard to say. from French Canada. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, uh, story is about a uh, fam couple families on mm -hmm. Thanksgiving whose children disappear. Yes. Uh, fathers are... Two daughters, right? From yes. One from each family? Yes. One from uh, Hugh Jackman, Maria Bello. Yes. And one from Terrence Howard and Viola Davis. That's right. And... I forgot uh, Terrence Howard was in this. Yeah, no, that's a good actor. Uh, we'll get into that soon. Mm -hmm. Yes, but. Uh, there's a, sus a suspect that's found in Paul Dano, who's mentally challenged. Mm -hmm. uh, it's sort of about how far Hugh Jackman's going to go to get out of him where yeah, his daughter is. Um, Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal plays a detective, Loki, which I think yes. is an interesting yeah, choice interesting. of names. Um, who is like not making enough headway for Hugh Jackman, so Hugh Jackman feels he knows who did it in Paul Dano's character because I guess he is well, that he creepily was, around in a van. Yeah, he was, he was in the van that they were last seen yes. sort of hanging around. And he just kind of does that vigilante, Hugh Jackman does that vigilante assumption that he knows who it is and that this is the system that's bogging down so he Well, yeah, they can't, they can't find evidence, yeah. but he assumes like it has to be yeah. him. So he captures Paul Dano and it essentially, without telling anyone, is kind of holding him prisoner, much like the daughters are being held prisoner. And they're held prisoner by the daughters being held uh, captive. Yes. As families, they can't really go on. They're mm -hmm. trapped. Yeah, it's... it's, uh, it's it, Everyone's prisoners, basically. I, I will say, you know, it does actually do a good job at making its title be relevant because, you know, prisoners, plural. It's not just, you know, it kind of, it's multi-leveled. Yeah. I like it. It it's works. It's awesome. But uh, first we should talk about the director, Dennis Villeneuve. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Villeneuve. Villeneuve. His <laughs> first English film. Yes. Yes. So French Canadian filmmaker, as we mentioned, but uh, he's actually a three-time winner of the Genie Award, wow. which is the Canadian Film Awards out there. So he's actually Canadian filmed, Oscar. Yeah, uh, he did, uh, won for uh, Maelstrom, Polytechnique, mm -hmm. and Indecens. Incendies. Incendies. Yeah. yeah. Which was also nominated for. Uh, Best Foreign Film, Oscar, 2010? 10, yeah. yeah. Which was a story about uh, two twins during the Middle East to discover their family's history and fulfill their mother's last wish. Yes, and I believe Polytechnics involved like a school shooting or something. Wow. Pretty, pretty... That's pretty heavy. Heavy. Yeah. So, I mean, the dude's dealt with heavy subjects. That's at the very least like one of the few, th like his his credibility is heavy subject. That's a positive. Yes. A little bit, I mean, it's interesting to sort of see that transition from a foreign filmmaker to English filmmaker. Mm -hmm. That could be a challenge. thing that worries me the most is it is uh, from a screenplay <laughs> written by Aaron Guzikowski, mm -hmm. who is the writer of Contraband. Interestingly enough, you know who also is an executive producer on this Mark film? Mark Wahlberg. Star of Contraband. Even more interesting, he was actually considered to be one of the actors in said movie yes. a while back, but that ended up not happening. It's not really surprising. I, th I feel like I've read a lot of things recently where Mark Wahlberg is involved in mm. a film and the film pulls out, pulls out or yeah. they don't want him, and then he goes on to produce or executive produce because he's still passionate about the project, which I, I mean, good on him to not, yeah. to not be like, well, you didn't pick me you know, suck it. It's well, I mean, clearly he was connected. I mean, I don't know if it was sort of like based on a short story or something and this guy expanded mm. it to a feature. Yeah. Clearly he was connected from contraband yes. work down there, so yes. maybe the friendship or something developed out of that and that's sort of where this all generated. But Contraband was not a great film no. and nothing about that screenplay made me think like, oh, this guy is an up-and-coming writer. Yeah. That's not to say, you know, look, everybody's got to make a buck. Yes. But Every, everybody's got to write And that was adapting another... Mm. Film. That's right, because wasn't contraband it was Swedish like Icelandic or, or yeah, something some like some Scandinavian that, yeah. country. Yeah. Not to offend the Scandinavians in one lump, but right. But, but it's, it's, it's some, for some, us some, some so. foreign country that it was based upon. <laughs> yes, talk um, about offensive right there. Some foreign country. Spencer. <laughs> it was <laughs> just kidding. Had, I just, a, a foreign country of which we are not aware yes. specifically which one, so we will not be inaccurate. And we'll no. simply say a foreign country. Yes, <laughs> I'm trying to keep it general and nice and vague. I like to keep things vague when yes, possible. Yes, yes. But uh, a phenomenal cast. Yeah. I mean, Getting some Oscar buzz. 
Yes, got Hugh Jackman, Jake Joan Hall, as we mentioned already, mm -hmm. uh, Viola Davis, Maria Bello. I'm a big Maria Bello fan. Yes. I think she's very underappreciated. Oh, yeah, and underused. Uh, yeah, I would say underused. I mean, you know, she, I mean, well, most just, people If we know, just ignore Grown Ups 1 and 2 that she's in, we will just say she doesn't have much of a career. Uh, uh, payback? I'm just awesome. saying she doesn't have a much of a career considering how long she's been doing stuff. I mean, oh, she she's great a... in Payback. She's great in History of Violence, but, you know. ER. She's, she's great in... Um, Willem H. Macy, the cooler? No. Yes, yes the cooler. Mm -hmm. ha, 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 ha. I remembered it. <laughs> Very well done. No, but I mean, she, she's good. And I, I love Paul Dano. Paul Dano, it's great. great stuff. Little Miss Sunshine? Yes. I mean, psh, there will be blood. I mean, Ruby any, Sparks. Yeah, any yeah. number of things. He's yeah. a very talented guy. Um, girl Next Door, even. Not to be confused with uh, Paul Fugat. For some reason, I always have those, get those two mixed. When they wow. look nothing alike yeah, except a, for their shaggy hair. That's an interesting mix, uh, mistake. Somehow, Little Miss Sunshine and Almost Famous, I just, I just, I, I, I get, I get, yeah, it doesn't brain crosses paths. I know, but as we said, uh, Terrence Howard is mm -hmm. also in the film. He's the other father opposite. Yes. Um, Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Mm -hmm. And again, you know, much like um, Maria Bell, I think Terrence Howard is an underappreciated uh, actor. I oh, think yeah. he was the better War Machine. Agreed. Don't don't was get the, me wrong. I love me some Cheadle. But Don Cheadle's a very talented guy. But yeah. I feel like he's much more of a steady mm -hmm. choice, the safe bet. Yes. Whereas Terrence Howard has much greater highs and lows yes. with his characters, and he's much more um, intense with the emotion. Mm -hmm. and, I think it frequently pays off. Yes, but especially I mean that character specifically being a a tried and true military man who is kind of coing the company line. It makes more sense to have a Terrence Howard than a Don Cheadle because Don Cheadle's much more like a Tony Stark kind of. I'm just gonna do like I do. Either way, that's digressing into Iron Man. Minutia, yes, uh, which I will do in forever. Interesting in this context, though, it looks like. I mean, I don't want to say Terrence Howard is the straight man, but mm. he seems like the much more reserved and uh, controlled because he's he's more the classic uh, parent of a of a hostage, like the troubled. He's worried. He's rather than like turning it into rage, he's like you know concerned. Well, to I mean, with. if you I mean from the trailer, you get the impression that he's. Um, shocked and horrified by Hugh Jackman taking mm, Paul yes. Dano hostage. Yes. But his wife, Viola Davis, who's, I mean, great, but nominated for Academy Awards and whatnot mm -hmm. herself, um, is the one who's like, look, let him do what he's got to do to get this done. Because, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's sort of an interesting question of, like... How far do you go? How far do you go? And, I mean, honestly, if I were in that position, mm -hmm. it's hard to say you wouldn't want to do something just like that. I mean, that's the scary yeah, thing. Yeah, vig vigilante justice is a uh, scary... It's not, it's not even... I mean, even... E yeah, I know, it's not exactly to that element, but even the element of just, like, deciding to interrogate someone on your own or kidnap someone on your own. But I mean, you look at it in the context of like, what would you do if it were your kid? Like, how far would you go if you thought somebody was legitimately like, EA, either he murdered your kid mm -hmm. and had done something with the body and you, I mean, you watch your kid back yeah. or B, he still has the kid and they might be in danger of being killed. Yeah. So, I mean, it's it's one of those things. And there's the whole thing about whether there's another party involved. Yes. Like, they're wondering if he's, like, the accomplice of somebody uh -huh. after they find him. Um, so... And, let, let, I mean, and just the, ca the cast of this movie is pretty well fleshed out. I mean, even yeah. to the scent of Paul Dano's mother is Melissa Leo, right? She's like a freaking chameleon. Yeah, seriously. That it, Just look at her in Red State and look at her in The Fighter and just anything and just be able to guess that yeah. they're the same lady yeah. you won't you won't yeah. she's, i mean so it, and one of the things i had to I, double check imdb like twice when i found that out i was like wait that's the same no that's they, their name spelled differently no it's the same lady holy yeah, crap no, no it's i mean I, I think it's nice that they haven't explicitly i mean i'm sure like everyone in the friggin world can assume that there's going to be a turn Yes. Like, it's not just going to be like, oh, Paul Dano actually Paul did Dano it. Paul is it? Yeah. <laughs> we knew it all hey. along. Um, so there's obviously going to be some other party that's yes. going to come in and play. And they have not explicitly spoiled that at yes. this point. Yes, yes. And, you know, there isn't, like, another gigantically well-named actor amongst those that we've already listed that's just in the cast as a random name. It's not like... Or uh, Lovely Bones, yeah. where it's just like, Stanley oh, Tucci. Stanley Tucci yeah, this... happens to be the creepiest looking neighbor yeah. in the history well, of neighbors. Well, that was the thing, like, the second, like, I saw the preview for that movie, I was like, exactly. okay, Stanley Tucci looks like the kind of guy who exactly. would, like, rape and murder a And child. when I saw the preview for this movie, until they point, kind of, like, twisted it around where it was like, 
he kidnaps Paul Dano. I'm like, what is surprising about this? Everything about Paul Dano's makeup looks like a creepy guy who, who kidnaps kids until it got to that point. The initial the initial idea I thought was really bland until I realized, uh, I oh, mean, okay, they're actually trying be, something new. Completely like, frank, if I look at it just from what I've seen in the trailer, mm -hmm. I don't feel like there's anything too crazy unique about it. Like, yeah. I think it looks like the performances are mm -hmm. very strong, yes. but the story itself is like, not necessarily the most exactly. inspired thing. Yes. And that, yeah. I think... And I'm hoping that the interesting inspired part has not been revealed yes. yet. And that's that's what I'm laid to believe because, you know, it was a runner-up for the People's Choice Award at TIFF wow. this year. So that's it's the Telluride, right? Uh, Toronto. Oh, Toronto. Toronto. Oh, Toronto. Oh, Toronto. Toronto. Yeah, I'm thinking Festival. of this one. And uh, yeah, that's also a T, though. Yeah. You know that. Um, lost to 12 Years a Slave. Oh, so, which man. Which has gotten huge. Yeah, hard, hard to compete yeah, against hard to compete about that. a movie but, about slavery would make it a slave. It's kind of... But, uh, <laughs> I mean, as so far, it's got an 85% approval rate on Ryan Tomatoes and an 82 uh, out of 100 uh, on Metacritic. Hmm. So, I mean, granted, you know, there's only a handful of reviews, maybe 10 or so out at this point, but yeah. it's got universal acclaim, which is pretty good. And you know, I'm just, nowadays, even if it is, you know, just, even if it's not that great, I am such a huge proponent of original properties at this point. I mean, yeah. it's, it, it's it, I looked, it's not a remake, it's not based on a book, it's not a sequel. Like, thank God. But, it's, I mean, it's one of those things you, you also have to wonder what could have been. I mean, for instance, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio was yep. attached for a while. Uh, Mark Wahlberg was, as we mentioned. Christian mm -hmm. Bale also. That's right. Um, Antoine Fuqua was attached to direct, hmm. you know, from Training Day yeah. and whatnot. Yeah, interesting. So, you know, interesting that could have been. Makes Kind of makes sense if you're dealing with this kind of Apparently, he was actually of, uh, attached with Hugh Jackman. Originally, Hugh Jackman uh, left, hmm. came back afterwards. Fuqua no longer there, and uh, supposedly Jessica Chastain was rumored to be. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, just, I read that cast at some point. Probably Maria Bello. Yeah, maybe. It's pretty pretty close, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Could have been Melissa Leo. I don't know how crazy they want to get. <laughs> it's true. Um, but it's you know, true. it's very interesting to sort of imagine how different it would be with those people in place. Yeah. Granted, those people are all. Very talented. Mm -hmm. I sort of hesitate a little bit on Mark Wahlberg, but I yes, think he's yeah. pretty talented, actually. So. And, I mean, I've been hearing pretty decent things when reading about it, not only in how people think about it, but specifically about uh, both Hugh Jackman and Jake Gyllenhaal's roles. There's been, I, I was uh, One of the reviews, well, things I was reading was saying, just if you look at him in this and you look at him in Zodiac, mm -hmm. considering he's playing a very similarly oriented character. Granted, he's a journalist in mm -hmm. Zodiac, but he's somebody on this like hunt with information that's drying up, and to see those two similarities and see that their comp characters are so completely different, they were, someone was saying, was a testament to Gyllenhaal's acting ability. Well, I, for, his character in this looks more like a guy who has been burnt. Like, I, he I understand... think he actually is supposed to have like a relatively perfect record. Mm. As a as a character, he's supposed to have a guy who's like has this really Solved solid yeah. record. Always he does seem kind of a little arrogant at the beginning of the in. trailers, yeah. and by the end, he's like smashing phones and yeah, stuff. Yeah, probably because he wants to get the answers, and he's going to screw his record. Well, I mean, like... not save the kids. Yeah, that's what he cares about more. <laughs> and his uh, name's Loki because he's totally trustworthy and not the guy who did it. I'm just saying that right now. If, just, if you just spoil that forever, I have I'm no idea who actually did it. I'm like, just guessing based on the fact that it, you have a main character hero named Loki. Come on, this that, isn't that Thor. Does, that does raise some like, alarms, yeah, for sure. Granted, it's probably just random happenstance and chance and just a choice of names. But I'm still uh, putting out Greg's uninformed theory of the week. Uh, I will say though, um, it'll be interesting to see Hugh Jackman's. Uh, Acting. Uh, That's true. Awards, yeah, I didn't even think about the this fact. performance because I mean, last year it was nominated for um, Les Mis. Les Mis. Yeah, and I mean, and this looks much more intense. To oh me yeah, and I mean, it's straight up, straight up drama no rather than which... musical drama. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm trying positive. to think like, how has Hugh Jackman even really done that many dramatic roles? I mean, uh, let's not count Australia. Let's not even put Australia. Uh, in I mean, I'm same. sure there have been a few, but he's much more action oriented and much more comedy oriented. Yeah. Yeah, rom-coms. Yes, too. Rom -coms yeah, so well. I think it'd be nice. I mean, dude's clearly got intensity to play Wolverine, so it'd be interesting to see him channel that intensity in a different, in a different way. If I were to be honest, I would say mm. I probably am more interested in to see him acting here than probably like the last three Wolverine-based <laughs> properties. Like honestly, <laughs> including the Wolverine, which is not necessarily a bad film, but like 
I, I'm more interested to see him doing something interesting because the material they're providing him for yeah. that character is very meh. Yeah, yeah, yeah so. exactly. Yeah. Anyway, that's the Prisoner. It's coming out uh, prisoners, September twentieth. Yes. Sorry, Prisoners. It's mm -hmm. coming out September twentieth. Um, <laughs> prisoners are very, very different thing. <laughs> yes, 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 it is. <laughs> uh, anyway, as always, you can find us at MacGuffin. That's mm -hmm. MacGuff. In. We're at MacGuffinCast on Twitter. Yes, we are. Uh, Facebook.com slash MacGuffin Podcast. Phone number 323-761-9842. We'll some obscene voicemails. Greg likes it dirty. It's, it's very, all, very dirty. It's all helps me sleep during the night, the weekend. <laughs> uh, we're on iTunes, Blip.TV, Miro, Roku. You can check in at Get Glue, get some badges or stickers to slap on your friends' faces. Leave us some stars on iTunes, stars, and some thumbs on YouTube. And comments. We, we like them too. We'll yeah. hit your back. Yeah. We like to chat with y'all. Spencer and I got not a lot to do during our work days, and we enjoy YouTube we'll comments. We'll chat with you all yeah. day long. We will. Unfortunately, yeah. we will. We'll see you next time. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. The board can't stop me. Because I've got space game and it feels alright.